Through the month of February, we brought you stories of Americans across the central and southern U.S. coming together during record cold temperatures and stormy conditions. Tonight, News 8's Evan Narani checks in with an organization focused on helping these thousands of cold stunned sea turtles in this Earth 8 special report. It was three months ago that Arctic cold filled the southern U.S., bringing all-time low temperatures to areas like South Texas, including the water over the Gulf of Mexico. Organizations like Sea Turtle Inc. on South Padre Island made national news, rescuing thousands of sea turtles that were cold stunned and in harm's way. Before February 13th happened, the largest cold stun event that had interacted with Sea Turtle Inc. was about 800 turtles. So as we saw the storm coming, we thought, well, this could be a big one. And in our mind, a big one meant it could be 800, it could be 1,000 turtles. So we never envisioned in a million years that we'd be sitting there eight days later with more than 5,300 sea turtles. Wendy Knight, the executive director of Sea Turtle Inc., helped lead the rescue effort. Under a normal cold stun event, volunteers and staff would bring those turtles to the beach a few days later and let them go. But with Texas's cold temperatures lasting longer than just a few days, they had to come up with an alternative. In this scenario, we were many, many days later still in arctically cold temperature for Texas and for a beach community. Uh, and we ended up having to take them out into the middle of the ocean over 30 miles to get to water temperatures that were above 62 degrees to let them go there. Now, months later, Sea Turtle Inc. has one remaining cold stun turtle that's stuck behind after health issues were uncovered during the rescue process. We have incrementally been releasing turtles since then uh, to the point where we are today, where we have one sole lingerer uh, star, starship, uh, who is our last cold stun turtle left to release. The organization is now gaining quite a following on social media as they live stream those releases. Knight says Starship, that last remaining sea turtle, should be ready for release in the coming weeks. She says while the last several months have been challenging for their small organization, they rose to the occasion. This single storm could have wiped out four decades worth of the legacy of Sea Turtle Inc. There were enough, you know, in the 10 years before this event happened, we had rescued about 1,800 cold stun turtles in 10 years combined. So we had more than that in the first 24 hours of this storm. But their mission of saving and protecting sea turtles continues year round. They say they rely on donors and volunteers to continue helping the endangered sea turtles. Evan Nirani, News 8.